Hello dear students, welcome once again to our channel Maths in Minutes with Priya. Today we are going to begin with the new topic Average. Today is part 1. We are going to learn some basic concepts as well as few tricks for finding averages. I hope you are watching other videos of this channel also wherein many topics I have covered so many tricks and lots of basic concepts. So please watch all those videos for your exam preparation. Today we are going to see basics of average and few tricks. Simple formula of average is sum of elements upon number of elements. A is equal to S upon N. Sum upon number. From the same formula we can also find sum if average and number is given. Average into number is sum and number of elements will be sum upon average. We are going to see application of this formula but you don't have to remember this or memorize this. You must know this. When you know average is equal to sum upon number of elements then you can solve all other examples. Now let's see few examples. Find average of 8, 6, 10, 12, 7, 5. You may think that these numbers are very easy and in exam we are going to get tough numbers. Yeah, that's right. I am using this number just for the sake of explanation. How we apply this formula. Later on we are going to solve difficult examples also. So for finding average we need to add all these numbers and divide by number of elements. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So just divide this sum by 6. So 48 upon 6 answer is 8. The same question can also be asked in this manner. Average of some numbers is 8 and their sum is 48. What is the number of elements? So here we are given average and we are given sum and we need to find number of elements. The number of elements is sum upon average. We just saw this. Number of elements is sum upon average. From the same formula, we are going to find this. N is equal to S upon A. S is 48. A is 8. So substitute, you get there are 6 numbers. Or it can be also asked in this manner. The average of 6 numbers is 8. What is their sum? Sum is equal to average into number of elements. So their product 6 into 8. Answer is 48. Sum is 48. If you get the example like this. Find the average of 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 79. Then according to our formula, we need to add all these numbers and divide by 79. But is it, is it possible to do? I mean it is possible but during exam, it's not possible that we add all the numbers and divide by 79. For that, we have a straight formula. Average of first n natural numbers. First n natural numbers is n plus 1 upon 2. These are first 79 natural numbers. So n will be replaced by 79. So average is 79 plus 1 upon 2. 80 upon 2 that is 40. So average of these numbers is 40. Now some suppose you get average of 1, 2, 3 up to say 800. A any number you can get 800 say then you have to substitute 800 in place of n and find out the average it's so easy let's see one more example find average of first 20 even numbers so we'll begin with 2 we want even number so first even number is 2 then 2 4 6 these are first 20 so it will go up to 40 there is straight formula for average of first n even numbers that is n plus 1. First 20 even numbers so 20 plus 1 21. 
if suppose the question is find the average of say first 100 even numbers then it will be 100 plus 1 that is 101 so easy next example find average of first 75 odd numbers so we will begin with 1 1 3 5 7 and it will go up to 149 these are 75 odd numbers so 75 2 size 150 150 minus 1 this will be last odd number in first 75 odd numbers will begin with 1 and it will end to 149 very easy formula average of first and odd numbers is equal to n so you don't need this set what you need first 75 odd numbers so answer is 75 first 100 odd numbers answer will be 100 first average of first 10,000 odd numbers answer will be 10,000 as simple as that now you have this particular example find average of 7 8 9 10 up to 51 what do you observe here they are consecutive numbers consecutive means one after other 7 then 8 then 9 it's one after other in q so that is they are all consecutive like 101 100 203 uh, 710 711 712 they are all consecutive numbers so these are also consecutive numbers when you are given consecutive numbers then for finding their average straight away what you can do just add first number and last number and divide it by 2 so 7 plus 51 divided by 2 58 divided by 2 so answer will be 29 getting it first consecutive sorry not first average of consecutive numbers so whatever it is consecutive means one after the other ek ke piche ek ek ke piche jo number aate they are consecutive numbers one more shortcut find average of now these numbers are given to you 7 10 13 16 etc but are they consecutive ek ke piche ek to nahi aa so they are not consecutive but what do you observe here they are equidistant equidistance equidistant mean the difference between elements is same 7 and 10 3 10 and 13 3 13 16 3 every time it is 3 so they are equidistant so again average formula is same like for consecutive numbers first number plus last number divided by 2 7 plus 25 divided by 2 32 upon 2 so your answer will be 16 so formula for equidistant numbers and for consecutive numbers is same first number plus last number upon 2 please try to uh, memorize all this formula for uh, consecutive for equidistant for first even numbers odd numbers it will help you lot in saving time in half second you can give the answers in exam next example find average of all odd numbers from 1 to 71 now what do you observe here there are odd numbers so the difference between numbers is common to see difference between consecutive numbers is common that is 2 and for consecutive numbers uh, what do we use what formula do we use first number plus last number upon 2 so answer is 36 if I give you this find average of all even numbers from 1 to 71 here it was odd now even 1 to 71 it will start with 2 2 4 6 and it will end at 70 but they will also be equidistant difference will be 2 between consecutive numbers so average is first number plus last number divided by 2 2 plus 70 upon 2 72 upon 2 that is 36 next example find average of first 10 multiples of 5 so we will begin with 5 multiples of 5 so 5 10 15 10 multiples so it will go up to 
50. So what do you observe here? Since there are multiples of 5, there will be common difference between all of them that is 5. So they are equidistant. That means you, you can again apply the same formula. First number plus last number divided by 2. So 5 plus 50 divided by 2 which comes out to 27.5. So what all we learned today? First we saw basic formula of average that is sum of elements upon number of elements and then we learned these four shortcuts. Let's revise them. Average of first n natural numbers is n plus 1 upon 2. Average of first n even numbers is n plus 1. Average of first n odd numbers is n. Average of equidistant or consecutive numbers is first number plus last number divided by 2. Today we learned these four shortcuts. There are also some formula for squares, cubes and their averages. I don't want to bombard uh, all the formulas in just one part. So in next part we will see those formula also. But by that time you can solve examples based on these shortcuts. Today we have solved and you can solve more examples also. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel Maths in Minutes with Priya, please do so. It's absolutely free. So see you soon in the next part. Till then, take care and keep studying. Bye for today.